Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Brave Browser. Before we start, hurry up and check out our day software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, how do we use Brave Browser here? Well, using the actual browser is actually pretty easy. So the first thing you need to do here is you need to install Brave Browser here, which in this case, you could just go to google.com, use any browser, and from then on, you should be able to download the actual uh, app itself. So typically you just need to go to uh, Google, search for Abe, and you should be able to see download link. But in this case, let's go ahead and get started on how to actually start using it. In this case, this is the Brave browser that I'm using right now, and we'll be discussing what are the default functions here. So in this case, if you're used or you've already used different browsers before, like for example, you've used Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, or even uh, Chrome or Firefox, it's actually quite similar to that. So you'll see the usual uh, types of controls here at the top left you should be able to see the go back or go uh go to the previous or the forward window so in this case typically you just go ahead and click on go back here or forward to see your history so whenever you uh skip or go to another website you should be able to go back to the previous website that you went to by clicking on the go back here now the great thing about the back button here is whenever you press and hold on it you should be able to see the full full, full history that you've went so in this case you could go and select the website that you've just uh went through now, in here, you'll also be able to see the bookmark button. So if you actually click on it, it's actually going to save or bookmark that specific website. In this case, I'm going to either click on done or remove here. But for now, let's go and click on remove. Now, we also have the option to search for things in here. Now, the great thing about um, um, the uh, Brave browser here is you have the option to search immediately via the URL section, like for example, Chrome or any other browsers out there. Like for example, I'm going to search for Apple here, and once you click on Apple, it's going to automatically search for that specific keyword that we entered, which is something really cool. It's quite similar. So again, quite uh, similar. It's actually quite similar to the browsers that we've uh, uh, got here, like Chrome or Firefox or any other websites in there. Now, in this case, at the top right, we have the Brave Shields and also the option for uh, tokens here, private ads to CUC and uh, Brave. I also have the option to view the uh, sidebar here, which is going to be the AI assistant that is integrated into Brave. Now, if you want to full utilize this one, you could go ahead and do that. It's quite similar to ChatGPT here. Now, also have Brave Wallet here. So if you're using Brave Wallet or you want to start using it, this is how you actually start using it. So in this case, you go and click on learn more here, create your account and start using, but that's not our focus here. Let's go and focus on the settings that we can actually access here on Brave. Now in this case, uh, this is the default usage of Brave. So again, it's quite similar to any browsers that you got out there. In this case, if you want to further customize this one, you need to access your settings. Now at the top right of your screen, you should be able to see a tree bar icon. Let's go and click on it. Like any other websites, you have the option to create a new tab, a new window, a new private window, which in this case is going to be incognito if you're not familiar with that. You also have the new private window with Tor. So you could also use or create a new private window using Tor here. So if you want to use that, it's going to open up a private window here and it's going to use Tor to actually uh, connect or basically secure your connection here. So in this case, you can go ahead and do it and start using browsing here if you want to search for something. And also we have the option to view our history, our bookmarks, our downloads, our extensions and password manager. Now, again, if you're quite familiar with any other browsers, it's going to be the same thing here. But first let's go and go to our settings here. Now, with settings, it is where you'll be able to basically adjust a few things and pretty much customize Brave according to your needs. So first you have the get, get started option here. Now you could go ahead and set up your profile name, your icon, or even import your bookmarks from other browsers. Like for example, you already used Chrome before, you could go ahead and click import bookmarks and settings here, and you will be able to even import the browser history, favorite bookmarks, and search engine. So if you want to actually import them, you could just go ahead and choose what type of a browser, who's the user that you want to import the uh, history from. Now, in this case, you could also have the option to pen in taskbar if you want to. Like, for example, on startup, you could go ahead and set this up. Like, for example, if you want to create a new tab, continue where you left up, or open a specific pages or set of pages. Like, for example, if you want to already uh, open Facebook immediately, uh, you could go ahead and set this up by clicking add new page here. Now, in this case, if you want to continue where you last left with the browser itself, you could choose continue where you left up. Now, if you want to change your appearance, you could go to appearance here. 
Now in this case, you could change the brave colors here. So you could either choose light or even dark or even adapt to what type of team that your browser or your Windows is actually using. So since I'm using dark team here, it's going to automatically choose dark team. Now you could even apply or use a team here if you want to, but you'll need to open a web store. So in this case, you just need to click on it and choose a team that you want to use. Now in this case, the toolbar here allows you to uh, customize your toolbar here. So for example, if you want to show your home buttons, whenever you uh, enable this one, home buttons should now uh, be available here. So whenever you click on it, it should redirect you back to home. Now, if you want to turn that on uh, off, you could go ahead and turn that off. And in this case, if you turn this on, you can actually set a custom address where the home page that you want to set. Now, for example, if you want Facebook to be your home uh, page, you could go ahead and set this in here. And from then on, you should be able to actually set that up. In this case, we have the show bookmarks button. So by default, it's turned on. So depending on what your taste here, you can turn this off or on. And you also have the show brave news button if you want to enable that or even uh, disable a few things here like for example wallet button so if you're not using it you can go ahead and turn that off and that will be hidden in the top right here as you can see right now if you want to also turn off the side uh slide bar button here you can go and do that so you won't be able to see leo as well in this case we have the show auto complete suggestion and address bar now if you don't want to auto or you want you don't want brave to auto complete your web addresses or your searches here you could actually turn this off and that would actually turn that off. So in this case, it will not suggest any uh, websites that you don't want other people seeing here. So yeah, you can turn that off. I also have tabs here. So if you want to use the vertical tabs, if you want to allow that, it should, they will sh their, your tabs will appear at the left side here. So, and again, you could basically uh, turn that off if you want to, but if you turn this on, you have the capability of actually uh, uh, adjusting it and just a few things here if you want to. And in this case, you have the sidebar section here. So in this case, you have the option to show it at the right or left. I also have the content option here. So you can change the font size, customize the fonts that you see here. Page zoom, by default, it's going to be 100%. And so I could do the most recently used tabs by control tab if you want to actually use that. So by default, control tab would actually uh, just uh, change tabs here. But again, you should be able to see, you turn this on and you should be able to cycle through uh, tabs by pressing pressing and holding on control tab here. Now, in this case, we have the show way back machine prompt for on four or four pages. If you want to turn that off, you could go ahead. Now for shields, this will actually allow you to uh, basically protect yourself on certain things. Like for example, trackers and ad bl ads blocking. So in this case, if you want to actually uh, uh, turn it either aggressive or disabled, you could go and do that. But by default, it's going to be standard. So you can keep it, keep this as is. So you have to show the number of block items on shield icon. So it's going to show you how much is going, going to be actually blocked. I also have the option to block scripts, but I would recommend you to not turn this on because some websites will not work if scripts are actually disabled. I also have the block fingerprinting, so you could go ahead and turn this on. So it's going to block fingerprinting. And you also have the option to block cookies here if you want to. So some websites will not work if uh, cookies are blocked. So in this case, you could either block all cookies or block third party cookies, depends on your preference. Now, if you want to completely for if you want Brave to completely forget you whenever you close a website, you could turn this on, and that would actually clear all the data regarding that website whenever you leave the actual website. So you will not be leaving any traces regarding that website whenever you visit that. But in this case, uh, again, depending on your taste, you could turn this off or on. Also have the content filtering here. So in this case, you will be able to filter language specific trackers and any annoyances if you want to uh, do that. So for example, we have the easy list cookies and all, all those here. If you want to uh, filter the list uh, further, you can go ahead and do that. So in this case, you could go ahead and uh, add, like for example, if you want to filter them, you could go ahead and just click on the checkbox here, checkbox, checkbox next to it. Also have the social media blocking here. So for example, if you're using Google or Facebook as a means of uh, logging in into specific websites, like for example, you're using Facebook or Google as a login on Instagram. Well, in this case, you could basically uh, make sure that you actually turn this on. But if you're not using that functionality, you could turn this off. You also have the option to uh, disable, like for example, embedded tweets. If you see some a tweet on X or Twitter, previously you know, if you see any uh, embedded uh, articles there, so if you turn this off, you won't be able to view them. But again, if you want to turn this off, if you're not using X that much, you can turn this off. 
Now, you also have privacy and security, which contains most of the security and privacy regarding your account here. So if you if you want to brow, uh, clear your browsing history, this is where you'll do it, uh, change a few things like site and, site and shield settings and a lot more. Now, in this case, you have the use Google service put, uh, for push messaging, auto-direct AMP pages, auto-direct tracking URLs here. So I would recommend you to uh, basically uh, keep things as is if you want. But uh, for Tor window here, since I'm not using that frequently, I could actually turn this off. So if you're not using Tor or Onion, you could go ahead and turn them off. And from here, uh, you have the data collections. So in this case, uh, depending on what you need, you could go ahead and turn that off. So for example, automatic send data usage ping to Brave. So if you don't want to send your data or ping or usage to Brave, you can turn this off if you want to. So again, depends on your uh, preference here, like privacy uh, product analytics, you could get, turn this off if you want to, and I'll automatically send their reports if you want to turn that off as well. Now, in this case, uh, another thing that we could do here is go to the web tree options here, which in this case, you should be able to see uh, different wallets. So we have the default Ethereum wallet, Solana wallet. So if you're not into crypto, you can go ahead and turn this off if you want to. So in this case, uh, you could go ahead and set this to either Brave or Accenture Brave Wallet fallback or whatnot. But again, you could uh, just basically ignore this one if you, you're not using it. Now, Leo, like what we saw before, is going to be the AI assistant that you could use. So in this case, if you want to show them, if you want to show this in the top right here, so you should be able to access them if you want to. As you can see, Leo is still in here. So yeah, if you want to utilize that, you could go ahead. You also have the sync option here, which in this case, you'll be able to sync your um, devices. So in this case, you'll be able to sync your uh, browser to different devices. But again, if you want to do that, you can go and click on start a new sync chain here, follow the on-screen steps, and you should be good. You also have the search engine here, which allows you to change what search engine you'll be using. So for example, for Google, uh, by default, it's going to be Google here, but if you want to change to Brave, DuckDuckGo, Bing, or Start Page or Ecosia, you go and do that. So whenever we actually type on the URL at the top section here, it's going to use Google. But again, if you change this to a different one, that would actually change the search engine that we'll be using here as well. Now, in this case, you could go ahead and enable a few things like approve search suggestions here. When you type in the address bar, the search box, brief sense what you type to your default search engine to get better suggestions. Now, in this case, they will improve a bit, a bit of your searching uh, experience here. If you want to turn that on, you can go ahead and do that. We also have extensions here, which in this case allows you to uh, manage your extensions. Like for example, use Hangouts to enable screen sharing and other features in a browser. And you could also disable a few things here, like web torrents. So if you're not using it, go ahead and turn that off. You could also turn off the media router, it enables cast features in the browser. So in this case, if you uh, want to, if you're not using the cast uh, cast features uh, much, you could go ahead and turn that off. But another thing to take in consideration here is you might need to turn on Wide Vine here. So if you're using Netflix or uh, DC Plus. They would actually start they would actually use that so in some cases uh videos will not play if the white vine is actually disabled here so again i would suggest you to actually turn this on and uh, from here on uh, go ahead and start your browser here and you should be able to start playing uh netflix or disney plus again on the tour on the uh, brave browser here now, additional things here is that you get access is going to be autofill passwords. In this case, you'll be able to manage your passwords, your payment methods, and your addresses. So whenever you fill out something on websites or signing up, there was, this will actually help you with your passwords and your payment methods. Languages uh, allows you to manage your languages here. What is your default languages? Downloads will actually help you determine where you want to download your files, ask where files is how download is going to interact. Like for example, by default, it's going to ask where to see, uh, save each file. Now, if you want to automatically save them in a specific location, by default, it's going to be the downloads folder on your PC. You can go and change that. And when you turn this off, it uh, would actually start downloading files uh, on that specific location that you specified in here. Now, we also have system here, which in this case, if you want to continue to run in background apps when Brave is closed. So in this case, uh, it's going to still run when Brave is closed here. 
and uh, use graphics acceleration when available. So this is more on the customization on the settings within uh, Brave or the actual settings on how it actually runs. So in this case, you could go ahead and change a few things here, like Brave VPN, use WireGuard protocol to Brave VPN if you want to even performance your memory saver if you want to turn that on. Also have the reset settings here, which in this case resets your Brave browser into the default uh, settings that you have when you actually first install it. Also have the Brave uh, about section. So in this case, when you go to above Brave here, it's going to automatically check if there are any updates uh, for your browser here, and it, that would actually automatically install those. So if he, if Brave actually installed automatically or updated itself automatically, it is suggest that you close this one and restart again for you to fully utilize Brave again and the updates that they, they receive. But in this case, that's about it. So hope, if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.